how our lawns and gardens are doing. Even the best green thumbs among us have been having a tough time trying to keep flowers from wilting and leaves from burning. So what's a gardener to do? 7 Eyewitness News reporter James Groh unearthed some advice. Your garden could be at risk in this high heat, but there are a few tips and tricks to save your garden this summer. The most important thing in all kinds of gardening is the right soil. It doesn't have to be fancy soil, but it needs to be nutrient rich. And most importantly, don't just take soil from the ground. This is especially true for America's most popular vegetable to grow, the tomato. Give them good potting soil, good potting mix intended for container growing. And it may sound simple, but plant placement is very important in terms of sunlight. The right plant in the right location. If it doesn't need constant sunlight, place it in the shade or you could accidentally burn the plant. Proper watering techniques are absolutely important. You shouldn't wave your hose around like this. You want to water it right at the root, just like so. Tree, shrub, or perennial, and let it soak there for a long time. And there's no risk of overwatering right now. But in this heat, give your plants a break. Water anytime you can. That means watering twice a day or enough so water drips out the bottom of its container. Don't water the leaves either. You could burn them when it's this hot. Actually, in the very hottest of days, you could sunburn some leaves by the water reflection, just like we get a burn. To sum it up, water your plants deeply, pick a good spot to plant them, and choose the right soil. Don't let this heat kill your garden. In East Aurora, James Grow, 7 Eyewitness.